In case you missed it this weekend, three new matches have been made official for WWE WrestleMania 40 set for Saturday, April 6th and Sunday, April 7th. United States champion Logan Paul will defend his title at WrestleMania in a triple threat match against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens in a bout announced during Friday's SmackDown episode. Logan Paul retained the US title by disqualification over Kevin Owens at Royal Rumble, while Randy Orton pinned both Owens and Logan Paul in the men's Elimination Chamber match in Perth last month. And after Jey Uso issued a challenge on Raw this week to his brother Jimmy Uso to face him at WrestleMania, Jimmy officially accepted the challenge in a heated promo on Friday's SmackDown episode. Additionally, LA Knight issued a challenge on SmackDown to AJ Styles for a match at WrestleMania after Styles interfered in the men's Elimination Chamber match in Perth, leading to LA Knight being pinned by Drew McIntyre in that match. AJ Styles accepted the challenge on SmackDown with a sneak attack laying out LA Knight with a steel chair. And speaking of AJ Styles... Styles says Triple H is doing a great job of making everyone in WWE feel important. He appeared on the Battleground podcast recently and spoke about the difference in how WWE treats talent now versus how they did when Vince McMahon was still running the company. In which he said, this isn't the same WWE that Vince was in charge of. I really believe that Triple H looks at our talent and goes, all right. Let's get them better or let's find ways to bring out the best in them rather than show off the worst. A lot of those guys and girls when they got released from WWE, it crushes them. I never understood why we would want to do something like that rather than just like, okay, let's send them back to NXT. They just need a little bit more work or something like that. Being released, it'll crush you. And I don't want to see people, their lives being ruined because of a job. At the end of the day, it's just a job, but still it's something they've worked for their whole life. And then when you're told you're not good enough man that sucks but that's not the way it is these days now with triple h in charge i think he's doing a great job of making everyone feel important mercedes monet opened up about her decision to sign with aew during a recent interview with espn mercedes is believed to have signed a lucrative deal with the promotion with her own dave Meltzer writing those with knowledge of the offer said it was a very substantial obviously higher than wwe but considerably lower than the five million per year figure going around one wwe star noted that they've heard the deal likely makes Mercedes the highest paid woman in all of professional wrestling. Mercedes was asked about having signed a lucrative deal with the company and responded that she is always about that bag. Mercedes had not signed with AEW when she attended All In at Wembley Stadium last summer. However, she says the experience factored into her decision, saying, I'm all about creating history. I'm all about creating magic and I'm all about creating so much more. And that's what AEW brings so much more, more opportunity, more more chances and more chances to stand out and to be seen and noticed. Another major factor for Mercedes was the freedom to work on outside projects, be it acting, music, or wrestling for other promotions. Saying, you can do so much more in AEW, you can do everything. And for me, I want to do everything. So this is the place for me to be. And this is the place that I call home. Since returning, Mercedes has spoken about being told her injury last year was career ending. Mercedes told ESPN she wasn't going to take no for an answer. Saying, I didn't take no for an answer and I pushed hard every single day. Rehabbing, working out, getting my mind right, meditating. Because again, I wasn't sure when I was going to come back. I just knew that I was going to come back someday. Up next for Mercedes is this week's AEW Dynamite in Toronto. She is scheduled for a promo segment on the show. A documentary on the late Bray Wyatt is set to premiere in two weeks. WWE has announced that Bray Wyatt becoming immortal will premiere on Peacock on Monday, April 1st. The documentary is narrated by WWE legend The Undertaker, who was Bray's opponent at WrestleMania 31 in 2015. Undertaker thought highly of him as a talent from their time of working together. Just days after the documentary's premiere, Wyatt's father, Mike Rotunda, and Uncle Barry Windham will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. They're being inducted together as the U.S. Express during WrestleMania weekend. Becky Lynch has now been to the White House. On Sunday, Becky Lynch posted on Instagram that she went to Washington, D.C. as part of a St. Patrick's Day event. Becky Lynch took pictures with notable political figures, including President Joe Biden. To which she wrote, it was an honor to represent Ireland and WWE for St. Patrick's Day at the White House. Kenny Omega has nothing but praise for John Cena. 
The former AEW World Champion on a recent Twitch stream shared his thoughts on the multiple-time WWE Champion. Although he hasn't met John, he has nothing but respect for what he does both in and out of the ring. Saying, I think he's a great professional wrestler, he's done an incredible amount for the business. And the reason why is because Cena wasn't doing anything for the sake of an accomplishment, trophy, or recognition, but for the amount of effort he has put to make people's lives better. Whether it be Make-A-Wish stuff, fans at the arenas, or autograph signings. He's a great example for what the face of the company should be, or the face of the industry. So I'm a very big proponent of John Cena, I think he's incredible. Kenny has been sidelined from pro wrestling due to diverticulitis, but has started a Twitch stream while recovering. John Cena's last run with the WWE happened last fall, culminating in a loss to Sola Sokoa at Crown Jewel. And last but not least, AEW has revealed the bracket for the tournament to fill the vacant tag team titles. Ten teams will take part in the tournament, which concludes with the finals at AEW Dynasty on Sunday, April 21st. The tag team titles were vacated by Sting and Darby Allin following Sting's retirement match at Revolution earlier this month. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. Catch you on the next one.